It's been a long time. Or at least it feels like it's been a long time. I don't really remember. Probably a couple months. But we've got a couple of boxes unopened right after the intro. What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining me. Um, like I said in the intro, I've, you know, it's been a long time. Uh, my mother's been sick, had some surgery, took some time away from doing all this stuff. Uh, as you can see, you know, relocated, had to add a new desk to get this all set up so that I'm better equipped to record videos. Um, also, as you can probably see from the last few, uh, everything from August on was really fucked up. That's because I got a new 4K camera, but they had there was something with the settings, with the Bluetooth settings, and I was using also Bluetooth to um, using a laptop as an external monitor so that I could see what I'm filming at the same time. So apparently there was some uh, some issues there, which was causing the video to lag. And again, that's why the, the audio was great because the audio is coming through a camera, uh, a microphone up here, which is separate from the camera. So the audio was good. The video absolutely trash. So got a new setup, able to use my monitors in front of me now, like my actual computing monitors. So now I have an all in one system all here so I can work and record everything. And this should be a lot better. So fingers crossed. So. Without further delay, like I said, we have two boxes, um, mostly moderns and a few coppers, but for that, you know, it's, for the most part, it's mostly moderns. So let's just get right into it. This one is a quick three book order. Um, first three issues of Philadelphia, And obviously, they should be really good condition, <laughs> being that they are like three years old, two years old, whatever it may be. Um, so don't really need this. First off, I got nice. Well, I don't know what grade this is supposed to be. They don't advertise it, but copy of Max Number One, uh, free from ordering a certain amount. So look at that. And this is actually pretty good timing because we have the rumor of something with Chan, um, Channing Tatum and the Max movie. Who the hell knows? But, you know, if I could get that for free, why not? And then we'll just move right into... We've got... One. Issue two. And... Issue three, all supposed to be near mint minus, all cost $2.25. So you know at $2.25 for each of these, there's no reason not to pick them up, especially because I'm not really a fan of a lot of the newer um, quote unquote indies. So, you know, something like this is going to be strictly to flip and be able to use that money to buy what I actually like. And we'll just see if we can get this open. And you know me, I like to go over this stuff with you guys live on here. So this is, oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. Well. That'll be a little bit difficult when I go to scan it. Um, well, for a black cover, this actually looks pretty good. Give me a second, I'm gonna turn the light on so I can at least see a little better with these. Um, yeah, actually looks pretty good. Um, that was just a speck of dirt and Looking at the spine is pretty, pretty clean. All right, that was another speck of dirt. So we've got that. Here's the back. Um, okay, we have something here. 
That's not a speck of dirt. Um, okay. But it's not terrible, terrible. Uh, finish going up to the top. And yeah, it's actually very nice, pretty damn clean cover. Um, so yeah, very happy that, oh, that's the number three. Fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, especially for book number one. That's the one I really want to, you know, really want to get to. Um, two and three aren't, I don't really care that much about them. Uh, it's number one, which is the big one that I want to check. Um, so this one, let's get the bag put back. Um, this one looks pretty good. A little bit of dirt that I can't really tell. You have, now this is all part of the, this here is part of the book, the design, but you can see right here. I can't tell if that's part of the book design or not. So we'll have to see, because you can see here too. You have all of these little specks here. Um, so that's a little bit something I have to take a look at. And if we take a look at this spine, this actually looks pretty, pretty not good. <laughs> um, you know, we could tell a bunch of color breaking spine ticks all around here. So again, that's why it's very difficult to get a black cover in a high grade because every little thing shows up. Um, am I... Is this a near mint minus with all of that? Hell no. But for $2.25, you know, what can you really do? Um, and, you know, that that's really all you can say about that. So we'll just take that and we will move on to the big order. Uh, this one is something like 20 books or so. Uh, before I even open it, you know, you have, you can see all of the damage that went on, you know, it's just, yeah, see, it's when, when people send, when people ship like this, it's really frustrating because all you really have to do is provide better interior protection, which, you know, with these you don't have. All you have is this box and when this box is opened up, all you have inside of it is <laughs> all you have inside of it is nothing, just the books. So, and this is actually a surprise. Um, this, I got an email from Nucadia. And I'm just going to pull this up real quick because this is actually annoying me right now. One of the books was not available. Um, they charged me for it. They shipped it out. They did not contact me prior to it. I got notified on November 7th. Okay, so today's November 13th when I'm recording this. Six days ago, uh, November 7th is when I got the notification that a book was missing. So that's November 7th. I ordered this. Um, let's see. I ordered this on November 1st. So six days after I ordered it, I got the notification that a book was not shipped, that it was missing. No, sorry. That's the wrong, that's the wrong one. Um, wait, is it? That's maybe I'm um, okay. Yes, I ordered this on November 1st, November 7th. So, six full days after I ordered it, I got the email notification, and I had gotten the email notification like two days after I received it. But as you can see, there's no little sticker like I usually show you. Like there's usually like a little brown sticker that says, oh, we don't have this in stock. They just never even shipped it. Oh yeah, they did actually. Let's see if you can see right here. Star Wars Tales of the Jedi number one. They didn't mark it and they didn't put a sticker here saying that the book was unavailable. And that kind of annoyed me because I was really looking forward to that book. 
especially because I only paid four dollars for it. So what can you do? But getting back to the books that I did receive, we've got Marvel Point One. This is the first appearance of Sam Alexander, who is the new, the latest, um, latest Nova. And this is a near mint minus, and I paid five dollars. And this is supposed to be a near mint minus. Um, you can probably see like right there, right by the milk hand, you have that that dent down by the Nike swoosh on the shorts. We have another dent, so we've got that. Here's the front cover. Um, doesn't look like there's anything too terrible. You see up here, there's a little bit of a crunch there, but really no spine ticks to be had. Um, Five dollars. Oh, actually, you can see you can see the top corner over here, and you can see here. There's a little bit of an issue. So again, near mint minus, not in my opinion, not if you're you know grading conservatively, but for five dollars, you know. Um, next up, we've got Youngblood number two. This is the pink version. Uh, first appearance of uh, first appearance of uh, Prophet John Prophet and first appearance of Chapel, I believe, is also in there. Um, or was Chapel in the first one? I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, this is also supposed to be a near mint minus. So if we look at the... Wow. If we look... How am I going to get this on here? Because this is... Um, okay, you can see... Like right there, you can see it, especially up by the... Um, right below the image logo or the image box with the... Um, you know, with the purchase price and everything, you have a pretty big roll, a uh, stacking curl. Um, trying to see if I can get it to show a little bit better, but it's kind of hard. But yeah, so that hopefully will press out. Um, I think there's a, you can see a spine tick right here, a nice color breaking spine tick. Um, not much else there, but there's also one on the back right there. I take all my other fingers away right there. My index finger is pointing and it looks like there's another one right here. So again, um, I mean, what did I pay? I paid $3 for this. So, I mean, it's not like I'm paying $50, but at the same time, you know, it's not near mint minus to me. Um, next up, we have the question number one. This is the first in an ongoing series for the question. Um, last time I bought this, it was very dirty on the front. So this is also supposed to be a near mint minus. Uh, let's see. How does this one look? Looks a little bit cleaner than the one I bought. That's for sure. I have that plastic on my finger. So let's take a look here. Because it does look a little bit dirty here, which that's not terribly difficult to get rid of. Um, again, if we look, look at all this, all this along the spine. This is not near mint. Near mint minus. Look at, let's see if we can get a better shot. E, is a fold here. You can barely see it like this, but there's a, there's a fold right on top of that box. Oh, there you go. Look at that, look at that fold right there. It extends an inch into the book. So, you know, um, Nice white pages, that's for sure. I mean, look at those white pages. That's that's nice. Uh, but 
that spine's destroyed. There's there's no coming back from that spine. I mean, look at all that damage. So a near mint minus, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, what I pay for this, three dollars. I paid for this. And I'm rounding these. I'm not giving like you know, I'm not giving exact amounts, but you know, three dollars. I mean, that's just that's something I'm sending back. I'll be like, hey, take a look at this. Tell me where the hell this is near mint minus with all those spine ticks, color breaking spine ticks deep into the book. Um, next up, I don't even have to take this out of the book out of the bag. Uh, Secret Wars number six, Secret Warriors number six from the 2009 series, and I don't even have to take it out of the book because you can see right there. I'm not. I'm not even going to take it out of the book. Um, you know, it's again near mint minus. Uh, cover tears. They claim. Get this up. Tiny indentations. This is not tiny indentations. This is tremendous color breaking tick. That's a ginormous fold. So that I'm not even going to take out of the bag because I don't need to. Next up is Red Robin number one. And this is another one. I don't even have to take it out of the bag. Another one's supposed to be near it minus. Look at all of this. All of this. This is not near it minus. There's no way in hell. I, mean, I can feel it before I even do anything with this. So, what's this one say? Another one. Cover tears, tiny indentations. What in the hell do you call all of this? Another one. Uh, I, even if I don't get my money back, I'm sending this back to them and just going to be like, well, explain to me where this is near mint minus. Explain to me what on earth allows this to go out. And that book, I've been looking for that book for a long time. So that, that one really pisses me off. And I paid $3 for that one too. So really pain in the ass. Uh, next one up is Sleepwalker number one. Um, this one I bought knowing that it was damaged. It said it was a near mint minus, a very fine minus. So this one I'm okay with if it doesn't have, you know, certain things. Um, and this one I only paid, again, $3 for it. But I bought this one in the hopes that the damage wouldn't be that bad. And it's actually, again, let's take a look. Not even going to take it out of the bag. Look at that. Look, look at that. That corner is missing. Yet they describe it as quarter inch crease, not not chunks missing, quarter inch crease. You know, so that's why that's why I was buying this. I was like, okay, biggest concern was the biggest issue that I saw was minor wear, and here on the cover, free of tears, minor crease. So I was hoping, okay, maybe that crease wouldn't be color breaking. Um, here's the crease that I think it is. That's not minor. That's that's probably. That's probably an inch. So you've got that. This is what I was thinking. You know, you got dirt here. Sure, it would be dirty. That's fine. So again, another one. I'm not even going to bother opening it. Piece of shit. Next up is Young Avengers number seven from the 2005 series. This one is supposed to be near mint. Not even near mint minus, near mint. Um, I paid $4 for this. So let me see if this has anything. Um, okay, well, even without taking it out of the bag, you can see. Um, can you see? Yeah, you can see like right, right over here, there's a couple of books, but they're not color breaking. So I'm going to try to take this out of the bag and I'm going to see this one. I'm going to take this out and see. Um, yeah, see. see if we could get a better shot on these. Yeah, you can see down the spine, you have, you can see there's dents in there. 
Um, they don't appear to break color. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, not exactly sure. There's also right here, you can see one that does break color. Uh, and you could probably see, you could see maybe it's going to be hard. It's very wavy. Um, you can see it like this. I'm holding this flat. You can see how both sides, and of course, it's not going to zoom in on it because it's going to zoom in on my face. Um, I wonder what happens if I do this. Okay, that is a little bit better. You can see it on the, the right and the left, the corners are rolled up. And you can see a little bit of the waviness there. So don't know what I'm going to do with this one just yet. So this one I'll put in the side for now. The next bunch are all a series. Uh, one, four, five, three, two... Put this one away. Okay, so the next one are all New Mutants uh, 2003 series. So we have number one, number two, number three. No. Oh, I think I did it in backwards order. I think I messed that up. So it was <laughs> one, two, three. Four and five, and these cost two two fifty each. So, and they're all supposed to be near mint minus. Um, these actually, for the most part, do look pretty good. Um, at this point, I'm scared to even open them up. Uh, and they're all supposed to be near mint minus. Yes, I think I said that. If I did, sorry, um, I'm a little bit flabbergasted right now. Uh, this one you can see, maybe, right there. You can see that there's a dent or a line there, and I can feel it through the bag, but that might just be a roll. So we'll see about these. I'm not going to really open each one of these right now because we'll see what happens. Next one up is another one that I bought knowing that it could be potentially not so great, but for the value, it would have been worth it. This is um, New Avengers 2005 series number 11, first appearance of Maya Lopez as Ronin. And this one cost 275. So, you know, for 275 on what, a $15, $20 book, you know, not so bad. It's a very fine plus, and it was rated. The reason why it was rated so low is because right here it says it has to bend. So that's something that should probably be able to press out. Um, not exactly sure. Uh, okay. Uh, well, let's see if you can pick this, if I could pick this up for you. Right, you can see right there. Di diagonally, right? right. Oh, I just had it. Yes, right there. That, that's not a bend. <laughs> that's a full-on crease. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll pick up on the back end, but um, you could you can see it. It goes all the way through, and it doesn't break color on the inside. So I'm going to keep this and press it out. And like I said, for $2.75, that one I'm not too worried about. Uh, next one up is Toxin number one. And the, re the only reason why I bought this one is because I really, I, I never even knew that Toxin had its own series to begin with. Um, is it even a one shot? I don't even know. But I saw it. It was I paid two seventy five for it. I looked it up at you know at Graham Crackers at uh, Dreamland and uh, my comic shop. 
it was going for like $20, $30 on those sites. So I said, you know what? Screw it. For a near mint copy for $275, I'll, I'll pick it up. Whatever, you know? Like I said, I could always flip it later on and, you know, use that money to buy something I'm more interested in. And this one is... Oh, it looks like we might have... Mm, no, I wouldn't call it a near mint either. Let's see if we can get that angle again. Okay, you can see down by the uh, by the barcode. You can see there's a little bit right on top of the barcode. There's a little bit of a um, yeah. There's a little bit of a dent spine tick over there, and there's also hard to really see it. I did see, you can see the spine's a little bit damaged, but that's mostly probably from uh, your binder issue. Oh, and it does say one of six, so it's it's a mini series. But I, there is a crease. I want to see if I could get that so you can see in the reflection. See if I could get that for you. All right, so if I turn it this way. It, oh, right there, right there, right to the right next to Marvel. You could see that rippling and that little bit of that creasing over there. So not really a near mint, but I could probably get that out for 275 again. Uh, I'm okay with that. And one more. This is Fantastic Four number 54. This is another decent modern side, you know, modern book. Uh, first appearance of Valeria Von Doom. Um, in an alternate universe or whatever the hell they call it. Um, this is a heavy book. I didn't realize that this was that heavy. This is supposed to be a near mint minus. Um, it's not square bound. Um, okay, well, right off the bat, I need to get, okay. So if I hide myself, and we do this. Let's see. Will it focus on that corner? No, it's you can see that. That white thing. That is. I don't know what that is. It's a tear. It's a little bit of a tear. Um and it's hard to zoom in and see what it is, but it's something. It looks like a bindery tear. I don't know. And we have the same thing on the bottom. You can see there. You know, you can see that there's a little bit of a tear, like right there in the blue in the corner. So I don't know. This is. All right. Well, it's thick cover stock, so it's OK. Um, what did I pay for this? Paid three, four dollars, three eighty nine, four dollars. So, if these are actually bindery tears, then I'm actually okay with this. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this would. Yeah, you can see that there too. So I don't know if it's a bindery tear because of the size of the book, but that'll. I guess I'll keep that in the my keeping column. Uh, because that's also like a 20 something dollar book, depending on where you go. Um, so we'll see about that. And along with that, you get this one. I got two free books because I ordered more. I spent more money. Uh, another one. I got the max number one. You can see there's a little bit of a thing up here. Um, and then down here, I don't think it's a fingerprint. I think it's in the ink. Yeah, because you can see here also so it's something that's on the book i'll have to see if i could get that if i could get it cleaned off a little bit but again it's free it's a trending book um actually let's go back to the fantastic four yeah you can see up here um, oh no that is part of the back cover okay so that's a good thing okay yeah Okay, that's good. And then also I got a free copy of Stormwatch number one. Um, why did I pick Stormwatch? 
just because it was free and you never know. I mean, we got profit. We got possibly the max. Um, uh, what am I thinking? Oh my God. Not Thundercats. Wildcats already had a cartoon series. So maybe we can see something more with that. Um, so we never know. So for free, why not pick them? It's better than free comic day books from you know this year or last year or whatever. So that's everything. You can see nothing else in the box. Um, that's the two orders. My first video in a month and a half, two months or whatever. Thanks for watching. And, you know, just hey, let me know in the comments, you know, just tell me, am I crazy to expect like these types of things to not be sent when, I mean, here, look, we'll go through this again. Look at this whole section. When it says, undercover tears, tiny indents, I mean, am I not supposed to be mad? Or when this one has a chunk missing out of the corner, and it says, sharp corners, quarter-inch crease, the quarter-inch of the corner is missing, not even a crease, you know? Or this, where we have all this damage going down the side. That's supposed to be a, a near mint minus. And this with all this damage up here. And I don't even, like I said, I don't even have to open the bags up to see that stuff. You know, am I the asshole to take a, you know, a meme from Reddit, you know, A-M-T-A or whatever the thing is. Am I the asshole to be pissed off about this? Or is it on the retailer to say, oh, number one, Oh, this this is not near mint. This is probably a very fine minus to fine plus at the best uh, because we have a bunch of little, I don't even know if they're tears or something, but that's not near mint minus. And then on quality control, not to just grab these things off the shelves from everywhere, put it in a box and say, okay, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Look, near mint minus. Let me take a look at this real quick. Do a quick little inspection. That's like these people that, that get a graded that they don't like from CGC and say, oh, does this look like it's a, a, a 7-0? And it's like, I don't know. I can't look inside to see if there's anything wrong. I can't see the back of it if you're only showing me the front. You know, I'm not examining it up close. So it's like, you know, I wrong for feeling this way on these books that I paid for that I'm not getting the quality that they claim. Just let me know. And thank you. And I will see you next time.